to week 13 of Modalities Movement Therapy. I'm Brenda, and today with the use of a foam roller and a hard reflex ball, or any ball will do, um, a tennis ball, a softer reflex ball, even a golf ball will work, and some water. We are going to work on the diaphragm, releasing the diaphragm, releasing those deep core line muscles. We're gonna work into a little bit of rotation, Sometimes we look at a compensation pattern in the body. So if a, a right shoulder is giving us a few issues, we might be compensating in the body and then the left hip to, starts to give us a problem. So um, looking at all these different things, I want to just loosen up and work opposite sides of the body. So we're gonna look at the hips and the sh opposite shoulder. We're gonna look at lunges and spiral line movements and um, and those kind of things to just get about, bring about movement into rotational patterns in the body. Let's start with the reflex ball under the foot. And I want you to roll from the toe to the heel. Just a nice slow release, really working across that foot. Slowly move the ball to the lateral side of the foot all the way to the lateral side there. When you get to the lateral side of the foot, to that little toe, hold it there and focus quite a bit on that because when we look at spiral movements, we work a lot into that lateral, those lateral stretches, so down the lateral side of the body. Let's bring the ball into the arch of the foot. So now we're looking at that deep, core line and this is where that deep core line starts the big toe is part of that deep core line into the arch of the foot and up the inside of the leg let's change direction of that circle under the arch nice and slowly nice and deep into that release let's take the heel onto the mat and spread the toes out and roll from side to side Now we're going to take the heel onto the ball. And again, I want you to give it a ro roll it side to side, the ball moving side to side under that heel. We're working into a proprioceptive movement now. So lift the foot and a nice light touch under the foot and a quick rolling action forward and back. Let's release the ball. We're now going to take it underneath the other foot, so the big toe, and roll over the arch of the foot to the heel. Move that ball forward to the toes and back to the heel. Slowly move it from the inside of that foot and all the way to the lateral side of the foot. When you get to the lateral side, hold it there and give that a really good release. Let's move into the arch of the foot and circle in one direction. And now you're going to change direction. Bring the heel onto the mat and spread the toes out, really open up into the toes, make space and spread them out, really giving them a good stretch. We wanna strengthen those feet. They're the foundation of the body. So they, you want to be prepared to carry the load and any impact. Let's now bring the heel onto the ball and roll from side to side. And a nice quick proprioceptive movement. Just waking up those nerve endings in the feet. 
we're working with the fascial tissue around surrounding those muscles. And when we lighten the, the pressure on the ball, we're working in that superficial fascia, just waking up those nerve endings. And it is quite sensitive because there are 10 times more neural pathways in that fascial tissue. Now what I want you to do is rotate on your ankles and turn the feet out. Often there's a lot of tightness around the ankle, especially on the outside of the ankle, that eversion and coming in that inversion, moving in and out. So just giving the ankles a little bit of a rotation, stretching the lateral side of the leg by the ankle and the inside of the ankle there. Good, and just shake everything out. We're gonna bring the ball between the heels, just underneath the ankle bones, squeezing the ball. I want you to squeeze the glutes and rise up and down off the heels. So rising up and down, lift and low, lift and low. Keep going, another four and three, and two, and one. Good, let's release the ball. We're now going to bring the roller lengthways. Keep the ball handy, because we're going to use it just now. And I want you to come into a seated position. Make sure you're right at the base of the foam roller. I'm going to use my front leg, and I want, I'm gonna cross it over the ankle, then I'm gonna move the roller over to that buttock. You can either hold on to the foot, or stabilize yourself with your hand on the other side of the roller next to, or next to the roller on the mat or the floor next to the roller. Otherwise, take hold of that foot and you can rotate the sole of the foot to face you so that you're opening up a little bit more into the hip and getting a deeper release around the glutes there. Now you're going to take the foot off the foam roller or off the ankle off the the ankle off the knee and we're going to just bring the foot next to the other foot on the mat but keep it in that rotation so you're dropping the knee out. Now I want you to lower down onto the roller. Make sure your head's resting on the roller and you're going to take the reflex ball and keep it handy. Just roll over the glutes. Take the back hand and I want you to bring it onto the front shoulder. Use that elbow to stabilize you and you're going to roll. Now you're going to scoop the belly in and tuck the tailbone under. So you're massaging on this side of the spine. Go right towards the arms and to the leg over the glutes. Massage into that lower back around the waist area and really tuck everything under. You can either keep your foot on the mat or you can cross the ankle over the knee. And we're now going to take the yellow, uh, I mean the blue reflex ball and you can massage into the inner thigh, along the inner thigh. Use your elbow to stabilize you. If your stabilizers aren't cooperating, change elbows, bring the other elbow onto the mat next to you but you're still keeping the roller on this, this side of the spine. And now you're going to massage along the inner thigh. Take the ball and you can open up the foot again back onto the mat. And I want you to bring the ball inside the hip bone. So you're going to massage inside that hip bone. So we're releasing the diaphragm now, but this is also a nice release for the hip. So pushing the palm into the ball and the ball's on the inside of the hip bone. It's called the iliac dungeon. So we're going to massage up and down. Now we, this is attaching to the, the ascending colon, which is coming up inside the rib cage. So you can continue massaging up towards the center of the body along 
the inside of the rib cage, massaging up to the xiphoid process. Now I want to create a two-directional pull, which we're going to do in the hip in a minute. You're going to either use the ball or you can make a fist, and we're going to slide in opposite directions. So if you see it from this angle, the knee is open, and the rib cage here, you're going to take the opposite hand onto the inside of the rib cage and either the ball massaging along the inside of the rib cage down towards the hip bone. So you're pulling in opposite directions. Massage away and stretch. This is stretching the diaphragm and helping we want to create space that we can breathe into. So you're going to continue doing that, staying on the foam roller. Drop the knee out to the side and just massaging there. Now you can release the ball. What I want you to do now is take hold of the adductors, the inner thigh, and you're going to pinch the inner thigh between the heel of the hand and the fingertips. As you do that, I want you to take the opposite hand so the hands meet there, and you're going to slide the fingers up towards the belly button. Now squeeze and pinch the inner thigh over your leggings. The other hand I want you to bring into your pants. And I want you to feel the burning sensation in the skin as you slide the fingers to the belly button. Squeeze and slide the fingers up to the belly button. Continue moving and stretching into the hip and working across up into the diaphragm. So you can continue to slide the fingers to the belly button along and stretch. Keep going, squeeze and slide. From that position, I want you to come back to the center. So now you're going to bring the spine onto the roller and you're going to take the arm that's closest to me and bring the elbow in line with the shoulder, palm facing up. Take the ball in the other hand and you're going to massage over those pectoral muscles. Massage over those muscles there that are often in a very shortened position if we're sitting in a rounded position working on our computer, driving cars, generally just in a more sedentary lifestyle. Massage up to the clavicle and to the shoulder. Now you're going to look away from the, sh from the shoulder that you're releasing and you're feeling that muscle running down from behind the ear towards the clavicle and you're going to push the ball in and twist. Push and twist. You're pushing up towards that mastoid process behind the ear. Keep going. If you just see it from this angle, turning the head, you can feel the muscle running down from behind the ear to the clavicle. And I want you to push and twist. Push and twist. So you're moving up towards that mastoid process behind the ear and move down towards the clavicle there. And again, continue the same movement. Make sure you're resting on the foam roller so your head is nice and relaxed. You can open up the arm or you can lie, lie it lengthways and continue moving along that sternocleidomastoid. And you can take the ball and just roll around the muscle there and around the neck. So you can take the ball down onto the upper trapezius and those levator scapular muscles in the shoulder. We're going to release those when we're lying on the mat with the ball. So just a light, gentle release here will be sufficient. Okay, 
again, have a nice big stretch out. Lengthen the arms, have a nice big yaw and stretch. Let's bring the feet flat and reach to the knees and roll up into a seated position. And we can go over to do the other side. Use your hands to help you with your balance. And you can bring the back hand onto the, the shin. You can rotate the sole of the foot so the sole of the foot is turned up towards the ceiling. And then you're opening up a little bit more into the hip. That'll help release more into the lateral side, the glute medius. Okay, from there, open up the, drop the foot on and open up the knee. Lower yourself down to the roller. Stay on this side of the foam roller. You can take your back hand onto your front shoulder and let's roll. So you're tilting the pelvis under. So open up your feet to help stabilize you if you need to. And you're rolling across from that side of the spine towards the arm and the shoulder, the over the shoulder blade there. Tuck under, get into the waist. A nice big range of movement. Keep that knee out. Let's do another four. And three. Two more. And the last one. Good, coming back to center. Now this roller is still on the same side that you're working. So it's next to the spine on that side of the spine. Use, move the foot out, that supporting foot to help stabilize you. And then we're gonna work along the inner thigh, up from the inner thigh towards the belly button. So you can bring your hands into your pants so you're working directly on the skin with the opposite hand and just work on top of the your leggings bring the hands into the pants if you can i want you to work directly onto the skin slide the fingers up to the belly button and that other hand goes down the inner thigh pinch and stretch keep going move it up Move them away. Create that two-directional pull. Tense sacrity. So this is also releasing the diaphragm a little bit. The diaphragm sits around the hip area. And this is all part of that deep core line, the adductors, the inner thighs. Let's do another two. Push and slide up. And pinch and move down. Last one. Okay, from there, you're going to come onto the spine now. We're going to take the reflex ball and cross the ankle over the knee. And now we're gonna just get a little bit deeper into that release. You can use the opposite hand or the same hand to roll the ball along that inner thigh. probably find it a lot easier to stabilize yourself on one side. There's always a difference between the sides. We want to bring about balance between the two sides. So we want to work those stabilizers on both sides. Let's release or keep the ball just before we move on to the arch and the tuck. And I want you to work inside the hip bone with the ball. And now we're working along the descending colon. So what you can do is bring the ball up underneath the rib cage. And now you can massage down towards the left hip bone. So if you are on the right side, 
then you'll be moving up the ascending colon towards the rib cage. If you're on the left side like me, you'll be rolling inside the rib cage and down towards the left hip bone along that descending colon. And again, let's massage and push down into that hip. Let's do another one. And now just release the ball or you can use it in the bottom hand. I want you to massage in opposite directions inside the rib cage. Bring the fingers together and you're going to slide that way apart. So if you want to use the ball, you'll have to stabilize yourself. You can bring the foot down onto the mat, drop the knee if you want to, take the ball in the bottom hand and massage down towards the waist towards the hip bone with one hand and up towards the xiphoid process with the other hand. So two directional push, pull again. And let's finish off with two more. And one more. Keep going. Let's keep the ball in hand. And you can cross the ankle if you want to. Take the ball in the opposite hand. And I want you to massage over that shoulder, the front of that shoulder. Take the elbow and bring it in line with the shoulder. And open up the palm. At the same time you're massaging up, I want you to be aware of your shoulder blade and I want you to hug the roller with that shoulder blade. So you're really opening up across the chest. Let's now take the ball and look over the back shoulder, the opposite shoulder, and work up the part of the sternocleidomastoid from the clavicle up to the mastoid process there. Take it up, the ball, push and twist it into that muscle and stretch it out. Let's do another two coming up and take it down. And putting the ball again to the side. We're going to now breathe into our arch, breathe out to our tuck position, and you're pushing down with the top foot and letting the bottom foot float off the mat. So create that resistance. Breathe in again. Breathe out your tuck and let the foot float off, dropping down. Let's breathe in for three and breathe out tuck. Breathe in for four and breathe out and tuck. Keep going, breathing in for five. So you're still making sure that on the lift and the release of that foot, you are pushing the lower back down into the foam roller. Breathe out to tuck and lift. Let's do another two, breathing in. And breathe out. And the last one, nice deep breath in. And breathe out to tuck. Lift up and release. Good. You can take the feet back onto the mat. And now bring the elbows. Keep the elbows in line with the shoulders and palms facing up. You can see I'm arching slightly into the back as I breathe in. Then I want you to breathe out and push the palms. So rotate the shoulders and the elbows as you tuck under. And then your chin should lift up slightly. When you breathe in, the chin should drop down if, that, if the movement in the head is 
incorporated. Breathe in and arch. Hug the roller with the shoulder blades as the palms go up. Breathe out into your tuck. Let's do another two. Breathing in. And breathe out and tuck. So in this movement, as we open up, I want you to hug the roller with the shoulder blades. Breathing in here. And then just keep the hands where they are and exhale. Come into a neutral position with the spine. And we're going to bring the palms and the elbows together. Breathing in. I want you to open up the elbows and circle the elbows down to the waist. And into that tuck position. Push the lower back down. Tilt the pelvis under. Now you're breathing in again. Opening up. Open up the elbows. And breathe out to tuck. Keep going. Nice deep breath there. So when you're exhaling, I want you to focus more on the exhalation than the inhalation. Really get into that tuck and exhale. Breathe every bit of air out that you have to gasp in as you circle the elbows up. And breathe out. Finish off with one more nice deep breath in and open yourself up. Finish with the elbows on the mat or in line with the shoulders on the mat and bounce the elbows up and down to the waist. Good. We're now coming to a rotation. So you bring the, the heels of the hand, the back of the hands the heels of the hands into the waist. So let the fingers flop down and you're pushing into the waist. We are breathing in. As you breathe in, keep the elbows um, dropping them down and keep pushing the back of the hands into the waist. As you breathe out, you're slightly going to push up. I want you to feel the stretch in the front of the arms, along the front of the arms there. Breathing in. And breathe out. And two more. So you're still keeping the fingers pointing down and the back of the hands into the waist. Finish off with one more. And breathe out. Now take one hand and you're going to bring it onto the elbow. And I want you just to bounce that elbow up. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Do the same thing to the other side. Bring the back of the hand into the waist. Grab hold of that elbow. And in a neutral position with the spine, you can push down into the roller to help stabilize you a bit. Bounce the elbow up towards the ceiling. And the shoulder is going to round slightly. Four more. And three, two, and one. Good. From there, lengthen yourself out. Reach the arms up to the diagonal. Have a nice big yawn. And stretch yourself out. Good. We're going to roll off the roller. And you can have a quick drink of water. Bring the roller underneath the head if you want to. And we're going to take the reflex ball again. So either on the roller with the head, or you can work um, with the head on the mat. We're going to bring the ball in line with the hip bone on the, that side of the spine. And you are going to do, similar to what we did earlier, you're going to drop the knee out. You can keep the foot on the mat. And I want you to work along what's called the posterior sacroiliac spine, in line with the hip bone. So you're going to put the ball down and you're going to rock from side to side. Just a small movement, pushing into the ball. Then take the ball and reposition it closer towards the hip bone. And you're going to rock from side to side. So this is a little bit of movement 
with the seesaw motion of the hips. Let's position the ball out again, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to bounce out from side to side. Push into the ball. Okay, now we're going to take the ball a little bit lower down, still on the back, so it's underneath. We were trying to work into what's called the piriformis muscle, and I want you to lift back up so you're on the foot and keep opening. And we're going to do the same thing. You're just going to bounce, sort of rocking, almost a bouncing movement from side to side. And you're going to bounce that knee as well. So I want you to bounce the knee. And find that spot. You should feel a little bit of a release down the leg along that sciatic nerve. If you've got the right spot there, bounce. Move a little bit from side to side. Good, and let's release off the ball. We're going to now take the ball underneath the upper trapezius. So it's right where the neck meets the shoulder. And you're going to take that same arm out. You can keep the feet flat and the knees bent. And it's almost like a salt and pepper movement. You're rocking the ball up and down next to the spine on that upper trapezius. And there are a few other muscles there. We're moving them. You can either keep the arm in line with the shoulder or lift it up slightly and then continue the movement there. You can tilt the pelvis under, push into the ball a little bit. This is a progressive movement, so just adding a little bit more weight into the ball if it's very tender. Go back to the first movement with the tailbone on the mat and bounce there. Good, let's release the ball. Hug your knees into your chest. You can stay where you are. I'm just gonna go over and rotate to the other side. Taking the ball onto the other side of the spine, open up the leg and just keeping it there, I want you to seesaw the hips a little bit from side to side. Just a little bit of a rocking motion again. Let's take the ball and move it further out. And again, rock from side to side. Keep moving along that, that sacroiliac spine. So a lot of tension we often carry around this area, especially if we have got any lower back issues. Keep moving and rock. Let's now position the ball a little bit lower down onto the piriformis and the same thing. We can slow it down a little bit, make the movement a little bit bigger from side to side. And again, just bounce that knee down. Bounce it down. And really get into that release. Move the ball around if you haven't felt much and just find that sweet spot. Good, and from there, we're going to bring the ball under the upper trapezius again and bring the arm in line with the shoulder. And again, you can support the head in the other hand if it's not on the roller and bounce up and down. You can move that arm up and down, getting more of a release. You can add that pelvic tuck and roll. Roll up and down. Move the arm a little bit. Tuck and push into the ball. And then release. Remove the ball. We're going to use it just now. We're just working into activating the opposite sides of the body. I just want you to lie nice and relaxed. Palms are facing in. We're going to push into the back arm line. So you're going to activate the little finger. And you're going to, from the little finger all the way up the arm, from the shoulder to the opposite hip, and the leg. So I want you to push down from the little finger, as I said, up to the shoulder, from the shoulder across the belly button, pushing the opposite glutes into the mat, 
all the way down the leg into the foot and release it. So you're going to breathe in between each movement. As you breathe out, I want you to push little finger up to the shoulder, across from the opposite shoulder to the knee, to the, to the belly button, the hip, and down the leg. Still exhaling here. Release it. Nice deep breath in. Arch. On the exhalation, push the little finger down, push the shoulder down, and through the belly button, pushing down into the mat and the leg all the way to the heel. Push down and release. We're going to do another nice deep breath in. Change sides again. Opposite hand, push the little finger down, shoulder all the way to the hip and the glutes muscles push down all the way down the leg to the heel try keep the toes pointing up to the ceiling foot is a bit relaxed feel the activation in the hamstrings the calf and release we're going to do two more nice deep breath in arch as you breathe out push the little finger down the shoulder all the way across the glutes the knee the heel Flex the foot, but keep it relaxed. And one more. Nice deep breath in, arch. And breathe out. Push the heel down, the leg, the glutes, across to the opposite shoulder, pushing that little finger down into the mat. And release. We're going to take the feet now. We're going to do a similar movement. Now you're going to push more into the foot. We're going to breathe in arch, so you can make the movement bigger in the, in the arch. Breathe out and push down. Now pushing the foot down and the opposite shoulder down, little finger down. So you're really engaging those gluteus muscles and release. Breathe in and breathe out to tuck. Push the shoulder, push the leg, push the foot down, activate opposite shoulder to hip and release let's do another four nice deep breath in arch breathe out and push the foot down tuck push the activate the glutes up to the opposite shoulder the little finger down into the mat and release breathe in an arch breathe out to your tuck push the little finger down the shoulder all the way up, opposite hip and into the foot. Activate the glutes and release. Let's do two more. Nice deep breath in arch. Breathe out to tuck. Push the foot down, lower back. The glutes are activated. Shoulder, hand, arm and hand. And release. Let's breathe in and arch. Breathe out your tuck. Push the foot down. Push the little finger down. Really tuck and exhale, 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 exhale. Good. Can we finish off with one more? Nice deep breath in arch. Breathe out. Push down. Activate the glutes. Tuck. Push the opposite shoulder down. All the way down the arm into the little finger. Push, 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 push. Lovely. And release. Lengthen yourself out. Hug your knees into your chest. And just bounce them to your chest. Have a quick drink of water and we're going to move on. We're now going to lie on our back again and taking the reflex ball. We're going to roll over the sternum. So when our breathing is compromised, when we in a constant flight or fight in that sympathetic breathing state, often we suffer with reflux in digestion because we're not breathing properly. When we release the, this esophagus, which sits behind the sternum, helps us just to relax that flight and fight response, bring us into that parasympathetic breathing state, 
where we use the diaphragm. A nice deep diaphragmatic breath brings us into a rest and digest state. And we stimulate all the organs in the body. The heart, the lungs, the kidneys to detox the body. Any, everything except the pancreas is attached to the diaphragm. And the more we breathe with the diaphragm, the more we stimulate those organs. We're going to continue the same movement. This time you're going to lie on the ball and bring it a little bit lower down. Rest your forehead on your hands and move a little bit from side to side. Now just relax into the ball and breathe into it. And breathe out. Let's do another two breaths. Nice deep breath in. And an even better exhalation. Last one. Nice deep breath in. And exhale. Let's reposition the ball onto, I'm going to put it on my back, uh, pectoral muscles, so underneath the pectoral muscles. That arm I'm going to bring next to the body in line with the leg. So I'm reaching to the, the foot and I'm going to bring the other knee in line with the hip. I'm going to take that arm, you can, you can actually bring the roller and rest your ear or your neck on the roller and you're going to take that arm so you're retracting the shoulder blade and opening up across the pectoral muscles and you're going to bounce that arm back. If you're not comfortable on the roller, you can just keep your head on the mat. Now, if you can, I want you to bring the foot into the same hand. So that's that back arm and leg. And you're bouncing. Position the ball in the sweet spot. And now you're reaching that palm back towards the back foot. The front palm to the back foot. And you're pulsing, stretching the front of the shoulder or that, the pectoral muscles and pulse. Four more and three, and two, and one. Good. Let's release the ball. You're now going to roll onto your side. And we're going to extend the body. You can start off with the arm extended underneath and bending the top knee. You can bring the elbow forward and bend that elbow if you want to. And take the the bottom leg slightly forward. Reach the top arm next to the ear. So we're going to start by reaching up to the foot. You can use that hand to support the head and breathe in and open up. Your other option is to keep that top hand in front and focus on the lift and lower. If you can, add that arm in, breathing in here. And breathe out. And again, nice deep breath in. And breathe out. Breathing in. And breathe out. Keep going. Breathe in. And breathe out. Another four. And breathe out. And three. And breathe out. Two more and breathe out and the last one and breathe out good from there you're still in the same position I just want you to come up onto the elbow and we're going to reach the arm up next to the ear again and you're going to reach the hand to the foot you're going to flex the foot and try and rotate so the toes are pointing down not up otherwise we're going to work the front of the leg we want to get into the inner thigh and pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, one. From there, you, you can continue the same movement. Otherwise, I want you to lift up off that hip, off the glutes, and you're going to hold on to the heel or the ankle, and you're going to rock forward and back. Keep going. Five and four, three and two and one. Good. And release. Let's take the reflex ball again. Use the foam roller if you need to. Support the head. Otherwise, you can keep the head on the mat. We not, we're going to move to the pectoral muscle. The knee is up. And you're going to drop the ear onto the mat or the foam roller. And taking that foot into the hand, that's optional. You can just keep the arm next to the body and rest your head on, your hat, on the mat or the roller. Okay, from there, that top arm opens up and we pulse in. Pulse. Pulse that arm up. Progress to bring the foot into the hand and really retracting that shoulder blade there. But make sure the ball is under the pectoral muscle and you're bouncing that arm back. Rest the ear and the head down on the mat. Keep going. Ten, nine, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. So you really should feel the back arm line, those triceps activating there. Rocking onto our side, you can extend the arm if you want to, or bend the elbow and bring the head into the hand. So you're cupping the head with that hand. Bring the back foot or the top leg behind that knee. Bring the bottom leg forward and reach the arm next to the ear. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, you can reach up. The other option is just to keep the head down and lift and lower the leg. Breathing out as you come up. Breathe in as you extend. Breathe out and breathe in. Keep going out and breathe in for five. Breathing in, another four. Breathing in and three. Breathe in, two more. Breathing in. We're going to hold the last one up and pulse it. Try to flex the foot, point the toes down. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Stay there. Just come up onto the elbow. You're either grabbing the ankle or the foot. Lift up off the hip and let's rock. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Well done. Have a quick drink of water and we're going to move on to the hands and knees. Okay, so we're going to start off with the front leg extended. So if you are lengthways on your mat like me, bring the hands on either side of the mat and you're going to extend the front leg. That leg is extended. We're now going to bring the chest between the hands. So you're squeezing the shoulder blades together around the spine at the back. And... You're going to pull back, and I want you to reach the opposite hand in the, in the extended position. So think of lengthening from the fingertips to the opposite heel. Bring the hand back, drop down the chest, and reach. Keep going for three, and breathe in. Exhale, and breathe in, and five. Breathe in, exhale, and breathe in, seven, and eight, two more, and nine, last one, ten, hold it in the extended position, pulse the arm and the leg up, if you're not using the hand, just 
lengthen it. If you weren't using the hand for the push-up, I want you to lengthen it out now and pulse it up. Now you're going to take the foot into the hand and push back into the foot and a little bit of a seesaw motion. So you're getting a stretch from the front of that shoulder to the knee. Four, three, two, and one. Good. From there, come up off the hands and bring that knee forward. We're now going to reach both hands forward, both arms, palms facing in, and we're going to circle the same arm as the front leg. So you're rotating there and come back. So imagine there's a wall and you're between two walls. Breathe in, circle the arm up and back and stretch forward. Breathe out and come forward. Breathe in, open up. Breathe out. Keep going for four and breathe out. And five. And breathe out. Slide the hand up and over the wall. And four to go. And release. And three. And release. Another two. And release. Last one. Hold it in that open position. Now squeezing the shoulder blades. But pulse the arms back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come back. We're going to do that in standing. So push up to standing. Bring the feet side by side. The leg that was in front, I want you to keep it in front. So you're going to step the other foot back into the lunge. Bring the arms up. And again, I want you to circle that arm. This time, coming up there, stepping forward. Good. Breathe in again. Open yourself up and breathe out. For three. And breathe out. And four. And breathe out. For five. And breathe out. There's a nice challenge on the balance. Follow that hand. And breathe out. Six. And breathe out. And seven. And breathe out. Three. And breathe out. Two more. And breathe out. Finish off with one more. And again, you're opening up. Pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and ten circle the arm forward and you're going to stay in the lunge position open up your foot wider than the mat and now you can either hold the foot on that same spot and bounce the hips down or you can pulse the foot from side to side side to side keep going three two and one Push back into pyramid or down dog position. Just walk through the feet and back onto the hands and knees. Good, let's take a quick drink of water and we're going to continue the same on the other side. So I'm going to turn around so I've got the other leg Hands on either side of the mat. Extend the front leg or whichever leg you haven't used. You can walk the hands slightly forward and I want you to push up. You can either just continue the push up position. If you can, I want you to add that extension with the arm. Bring the hand back and drop down. And lift up and lengthen. Four, three. And lengthen. For four and lengthen. For five and lengthen. And six and lengthen. Seven and up. And eight. Two more. Nine. Last one. Ten. 
and hold it up. Now bring the hand slightly closer underneath the shoulder and let's pulse for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring the foot into the hand, push the foot back, challenge your balance and a bit of a seesaw motion stretching from the knee to the opposite shoulder. Stabilize yourself. Good. Let's step that foot forward in front. Okay. Bring both arms forward and you're going to circle the same arm as left. Breathing in, lunge and breathe out. For two and breathe out. For three and breathe out. Four, four, and breathe out. And five, and breathe out. Six, seven, and eight, nine. Hold it in that open position for 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Circle the arm back. Curl the toes under if you need to. If you don't need to, push up off the front foot. Good. Same leg. You're going to step back, lunge, and circle up. So this is a little bit more challenging on the balance, I find. And release. Good. For two and release for three are you breathing in and breathe out for four and breathe out and five and breathe out and six and breathe out and seven and breathe out three and breathe out and two, and breathe out. Finish off with one more, hold it there. Pulse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. From there, a nice wide lunge. Open up that front foot and let's bounce. And bounce from side to side or keep your foot on the same spot. Side to side. Keep going five and four and three and two and one finish off and step the feet side by side walk through the feet and now you're going to come forward into your plank position and lower down to the mat let's relax the forehead on the hands and just wiggle the hips from side to side And just lie here, relax, and I want you to focus on your breathing again. Breathe in for four counts, and exhale. And again, a nice deep breath in. And exhale for four to six counts. One more time, nice deep breath in. And exhale. Good. Bring the hands next to the chest and you're going to push up into a trunk extension and just look over the shoulders. Keep your hands where they are. Drop the chest down. Tuck under and push back into your child's pose. Relax your forehead on the mat and again I just want you to stretch out and breathe into this position. Breathing in for four and out for six. And exhale. Finish off with one more nice deep inhalation. And a bigger exhalation. 
Let's tuck the tailbone under, slide the fingers to the knees and uncurl through the spine. Circle the shoulders up and back. Swing the arms around the body. And stepping up, just shake everything out. Well done and thank you for joining me. Thank you.